Okay, it is my second year channel anniversary. So I thought I would do a video that I was never able to make. I tried to make it exactly the day after. I made Welcome to Most Amazing Top 15, and I just forgot about it. I tried to make it in April of last year, forgot about it. Tried to make it in October, forgot about it. So then I decided I would try and make it today for a special two year anniversary. So anyway, let's begin. The top 15 craziest tents you won't believe exist. At number 15, we have the Stronghold Tents used in Antarctica. Guessing by the name and the shape of it, you can probably guess that these things are pretty strong, unlike me. Well, yes. And let's say that you are uh, cruising in Antarctica and you uh, just camp out. This is the tent that you'll be sleeping in because they're so strong. They have a thick shell around them. They're great in case uh, if you're camping. So if you're going to like camp on the top of Mount Everest, then go ahead and bring this. At number 14, we have the Jack Pack. It's a jacket that's also a tent, so you can pack your pack in the Jack Pack. Don't, just don't bring a snack, okay? Oh, hey, look, I think I just found some good thumbnail footage. And it can turn into a sleeping bag and a tent, because why would it be on this video if it couldn't turn into a tent? Yeah, I'll throw a jacket on a top 15 tents list, which is kind of what I did right there, so why am I being, uh, I'm being ironic. I'm being a hypocrite, they all comment, because you all, you call Gen Z's are dumb, okay? Only 30 are not dumb. All the other ones, uh, except, well, except the other 30 are absolutely dumb. At number 13, we're bringing back a 1950s classic, the Airstream Trailer. Being a little controversial for, you know, not being a tent, I think I would put campers on here because a tent camper is just basically a fancified tent, kind of like a yurt. But back to what I was saying, even though you probably heard of an Airstream, I kind of wanted to put it on the video because it's such a classic. Introduced in the 20s, the Airstream didn't really catch on to the late 40s. People started hauling them everywhere. Also during this time, U-Haul went out, so everybody was hauling. Haul, 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 it all went until the 60s where I think they just, they just stopped becoming popular. Some people have turned them into cars, hooking cars onto them, like here's the first I'm now being informed from the website that the car hooked up to the Airstream was a 66 Oldsmobile. But anyway, let's move on to number 12. At number 12, we have the best of both worlds, CB radios and celebrities. This 18 room mansion ain't just the coolest part of this and it's also customized now i'm thinking about it you can have two computers or more if you're a gamer really big celebrity uh if you're a singer you might have an amplifier or speaker uh if you're an actor you might have uh, a bunch of a list of gospel gossip stories so you can go around spreading on Twitter. Uh, not only got to hurt them, but all the idiots in elementary school are not spreading them around. Anyway, uh, that ain't the coolest part of this. It is the Peterbilt that has to be towed on because not just a normal camper truck will be able to pull it. I'll be in the seat talking on the radio shipped in you're not sitting back playing video games. You know, I don't even know how to play a single video game. Fun fact about me, I don't. Coming out of the dark void that I just closed in with a tent called the Nano Cure. The Nano Cure is a normal tent when you pop it inside. Because most of these are all focusing on the interior. Or just the thought of them. This one actually goes out for the structure of it. Inside it, it's made with a self-healing material that the only thing you have to do to repair it is find the hole, lick your thumb, and slap your thumb down on it. With a bunch of elements mixing in, it makes the same material over again. I don't know how it works. 
But don't put too hope in it because even it's advertised, so don't shoot sort of like shooting a nerf at it uh, willy nilly. And also don't just take a knife like you're you're in a psycho. psycho. Or eat, eat, eat. Because remember, we're a child friendly channel. Thank you, Papa. Thanks for ruining my YouTube career. Uh, number 10, we have the two seconds tent. I know, normal little play tent. Why should I care? Oh, well, I'll show you a video of this two seconds tent to know how it gets its name. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah? The only thing you gotta do is throw it to the, your desired location. And hopefully it ain't a slope because it's gonna go wee and you gotta go chase it and then throw it back. It's gonna be a two hour process. I never used one, but that's probably why. At number nine, we have the expandable, I need some introvert camper. Now, don't get me wrong, but this is pretty cool and it would be close to number one, but there's one problem. A, or really this is the only problem. The designer calls it a work of art. So it ain't supposed to be picked up to your truck and drove across America. So you can't do that. I'm sorry, but I can show you another picture of it because this looks insanely mind-bogglingly cool. Just memorize that sucker in. At number eight, we have the Gigwam tent from nowhere. You can buy it today. I really recommend it. So, you know when you said, oh, we're going to have a camping party this summer. Please make sure to come. And you said that you're only going to invite two, and you accidentally invite two times ten or twenty. Then whip out the Gigwam. The Gigwam is basically a village tent. With different cones, I can fit up to two people, two people per cone, and around six halls. It can, it's also expandable, so you can buy a bunch of them and make like a whole town out of them. In case you invite two times a hundred or two hundred, I need to start doing math because I've been out of school for already a month already. I need to stop. At number seven, we have the Sea Lander Water Camper. My grandfather loves going boating. And if he could boat all night, then it would probably be one of the best days of his life. And also, if you are like camping out near a lake, you might want to purchase a Sea Lander. A Sea Lander, only going for $25,000. That's good enough because it's basically a boat that you can attach to your truck driving around town with. And that's how you want to pull over when you gotta go to sleep, just hop in the Sea Lander. It has a built-on grill, a motor in it, so you can steer wherever you want to go. I say, I think that you should buy the Sea Lander. The Sea Lander, meant for America's best men. Number six, we have the Court Tent, AKA the 40-year-old Karen. This tent is for all the 40-year-old Karens that work at the supermarkets that like to drink beverages with corks on them when they want to go camping. And I kind of like it too, besides that care joke I just said. Uh, okay, okay, the cork tent. It looks like a cork. The flap is made out of cork material. You pop it off. It's a one night. It's a one person cedar, but who wants to sit from the Karen that works here at local Walmart? Like, let's be honest, who does? Not. Okay, now we are entering the top five. These are the tents that if you are able and have the money, I recommend that you buy. All of them, if you, okay, don't buy all of them. Again, unless you're like a tent shop. If you're Cabela's, listen. If you want to try and sell tents, sell these top fives. If you want to buy one of these tents to all my fans, buy these top fives. These are one of the best tents ever coming up. Let's start with number five. Oh, at number five, we have the ten style Stingray. This Stingray is a tent that can hold up to three people. It can also be stacked vertically. It can be made into a circle, like in that photo I just showed you. It can be turned into a lot of stuff. 
And I hope you like it because I kind of like to have one. It's kind of like a hammock that I'm sitting in right now. Yeah, if you didn't notice right now, I'm sitting in a hammock. Yeah, I'm sitting in a hammock welcome in this video. It's kind of like a hammock but with a cover over it. At number four, we have that tent for you during the midlife crisis. Oh, don't worry, 40, 50 year old men. We got a tent for you. It's the Series 2 Expedition. Just to help you during the midlife crisis. Kind of like Harley Davidson is. But for a tent, they'll get you through the midlife crisis, not a two wheeled vehicle. Anyway, uh, this tent could park a motorcycle, have a five person at max seating room in like a seating room on the other end and or if you're not on motorcycles and you're not on the room midlife crisis then you can go and put a kitchen anything in between that gap maybe in a bike if you're a mountain biker but <laughs> which i don't even really think it's a good idea to be riding 35 miles an hour down the street but who knows look at that routine therefore you're in the midlife crisis so close so close to being one of the tents that i would like to purchase uh it's the sea lander is too expensive for you then just buy a tent that's the same way the kahuna come with those little airless pods that makes things float strap them on there and you can flow across the sea in a tent but where are you gonna put the campfire at yeah I'm the more logical guy. Yeah, I'm the more logical guy. Where are you going to put the campfire on this water? In the 1960s, if you owned one and you owned a Jeep, you probably, this was the go-to thing to strap on it. But after they discontinued, 50 years later, they made a repop of it that could fix. They uh, even strap onto a Wrangler, a Cherokee. Uh, I don't really know because they're all trash. The transmissions fall out of all of them. You know, all the good ones. Um, my dad has an old farming Jeep. And I think <laughs> I was able to have this down to strap it on and drive across the town. I mean, the, if you don't know, there ain't like a hover. Uh, right, a thing over it. The only thing that's holding you is no seat, no seat belts on it. Just a seat, a motor, a body, and some gauges and a steering wheel. That's it. On <laughs> it. That's basically it. <laughs> no radio. No. No air conditioning because there's no hood over it. There ain't no doors on it either. Yeah, there ain't no doors on one. You know. But it does have the, what is it called? The covering over it. And maybe I could put that over it as a sky tent. Anyway, buy a sky tent. Make me Hey, happy. I know, I'm sitting in a hammock right now. This is the summer of Lucky Top 15. I'm gonna be sitting in this hammock all summer long, making videos. I'm also gonna be wearing this shirt that I'm wearing right now. You just watch Top 15 tents. If you're not, there's top 15 tents in the description. Uh, and then I'll also shout this at the end of top 15 tents, so it'll just keep on going on loop to watch top 15 tents. Because it probably leaves something idiotic enough to watch top 15 tents over and over again. If you have not, then uh, here, there's also the news video down there too. If you're not okay with that, then there's also a top 15 vlogs playlist down there. And uh, if you're if you do understand this video, then Google stuff to it. That's what I do.